of this week's episode of Day Reels Area 51. Action, drama, romance, suspense. Okay, probably not that much of any of it, but there will be comedy. We're hoping. Um, my monocle keeps switching sides? Pay no attention, the artist surely didn't. Anyway, enjoy, I'm out of here. We're taking heavy fire, sir. Who are they, and why are they attacking us? I don't know, but they're not going to get by us. Keep firing. Seems odd for such a small force to be attacking Mars. We have so many other ships in the solar system that can come to our aid if needed. Interesting point. I think that... Wait! Everyone, hold your fire! Why, sir? Do you have a new strategy? No, it's lunchtime. Everyone, see you in 30, and we'll pick this up then. We here at Area 51 on Earth do a lot of amazing work. But, with the wonder comes the waste. Hey, I don't feel so good. <coughs> How do we dispose of this toxic material? Easy. We put it all in these sturdy containers for storage. I think it's leaking. I feel lightheaded. Should I be breathing this stuff in? And finally, they are kept here in our underground storage facility. So you see, nothing to worry about. We've learned our lesson from last time. And once again, we apologize to the John Adams preschool staff and students. In all honesty, the basement was empty and we really didn't think anyone would notice. Kids lose teeth and hair all the time. The invaders are in orbit, sir. How is that possible? We have a fleet up there for the sole purpose of protecting Mars. Does it seem to you that they're doing their job at all? I am told a stand-down order was issued by the commander of the fleet. The invader just flew right past them, sir. This is ridiculous. I'll have their necks for this. What could possibly be the reason for their betrayal? This is just total madness. Oh, oh, I think I get it now. It's lunchtime. I'm betting that is why they stopped, sir. It's lunchtime. What? It's lunchtime. You know what? I think the shields will hold up. I have a turkey, bacon, and lettuce sandwich waiting for me. All right, everyone, hold up. Going on lunch. Good day. Our question this week comes from Jamie Hannigan from Muncie, Indiana. Hey, Jamie. Okay, here we go. Let's get started. Jamie writes, Dr. Gray, I've had this rash for a few days. It started after I came in from the woods. Do you think it was poison ivy? And if so, how do I cure it? Well, Jamie, here's the thing. It's called poison ivy. Poison. I suggest you get your affairs in order and say goodbye to your family and friends. <laughs> I'm only kidding, Jamie. I'm only kidding. Just get some calamine lotion. Use it as long as the rash is present. Up next, I show you how to deal with a sudden heart attack. Mr. Hannigan, you might want to stay tuned for that, I'm guessing. Well, the good news is they've stopped firing. The bad news is we have no idea what's going to happen next. They're just hovering up there, sir. Probably preparing for their ground assault. <laughs> the fools. Our base still stands, and our troops are back from their break. Now, we'll be ready. I wouldn't say that, sir. It was a pretty heavy lunch. Everyone seems pretty sleepy and groggy. We might need more time to rest. Attention, Area 51 Mars Station. This is your opponent speaking. Your bizarre and seemingly inattentive response to our invasion has given us reason to cease fire. We can only assume you have a horrible counterattack waiting. Therefore, to avoid an apocalyptic battle, 
We are retreating. No hard feelings. Goodbye. Huh. Did we just win, sir? Yes, I... I think we did. Victory!